So we got the engine cleaned up, looking good. Cleaned up all in there. Couple of maintenance tricks that I've found that I noticed. So a big thing with these John Deere's, the 123E, the 1025R, this may be different depending on the year. Again, this is a 2020. A big issue people have with these is greasing that front U-joint for the drive shaft. Now, if we get up under here, you can see that hole right there that everybody tries to fit their grease gun through. That hole right there. Again, I don't know if this is different. You don't need to use that hole. What that hole is for is so you can see the fitting. Where you actually want to put your grease gun, and what you're going to do is you're going to turn the drive shaft so that you can see it's not quite lined up with the hole. You're going to put your grease gun through this section, this cutout. There's just enough room to fit it between these two lines. Actually, more than enough room. You can see my finger fits there perfect. You're going to put it through that section at an angle. And then you're going to utilize that hole to be able to see the fitting. Right? So you're utilizing this hole to view the fitting as you put your grease gun up through this. Super easy. Again, I don't know if the other models have that hole there. I'm assuming they must because that's where the hydraulic lines goes for your power steering. But that's where you want to put your grease gun. Not that hole, but rather through this cutout. And like I said, you can slip it right up in there. You can see there's plenty of room and you're going to use that hole to see the fitting as you fill it to make sure the grease is actually going into it. It was super easy. The other thing with this, I have the quick attach, quick attach deck system. The filter, lower your quick attack deck system all the way down. You got plenty of room to get to your filter then, okay? It's a little bit of a pain getting in there with a wrench and stuff, but if you have an oil filter wrench, it's super simple. Um, and that quick attach deck system is, uh, is what you're going to want to lower. You don't need to take it off. Another thing, come back here. This rear differential linkage is super loose. This is how they all are. What I've seen a lot of people having issues with on the forums is, and it was on this one too, this beveled end here, this edge right there, gets caught up in this linkage and locks your diff, essentially. Okay? I... The other thing I noticed is that your brakes are attached to this differential lock. So you can see even my diff lock is not going down all the way. Well, the reason why it's not going down all the way, or rather going up all the way into the off position, is because your brake linkage is not adjusted right. So you gotta come over here to the brake linkage. And you can see the brake linkage right there, here, is putting pressure on. So, the only way you get rid of that is you need to adjust your brake linkage tighter, which will push it up. So you tighten this screw, which will push it up, which will allow your diff to fully unlock. Okay? It's a very small adjustment, but that's what you want to do. So that's where we're at so far. Now I gotta change the engine and the front axle fluid. Front axle fluid change. Make sure you remove these Allen keys. This one here and this one here. These are breathers. When you take them out, it will allow it to breathe easier and it will drain all the fluid a lot easier than having to sit there and watch it glug, glug, glug away. Okay? Um, another thing, WD-40 is your friend. You should be hitting everything with the good old WD. It'll keep all the rust at bay, at least for the most part. Um, and yeah, so like I said, I ended up taking this plastic thing loose to check to make sure that the mice didn't eat anything. That looks like a really nice hidey hole for mice. So if you do have mice in there, don't do what I did. Because I noticed after I did it all, of course, is a plate right here. You take that screw out, 
it gives you full access to in there to clean that area out. I'm uh, guessing that's probably why they put that there. So that's going to, uh, for now at least, conclude our maintenance on the 1023E, 1025R platform. Um, if you guys want to see anything else on this thing, let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking to you soon. Please like, comment, subscribe. We've got a lot of tractor content coming up. And I'm going to do a full video on why I think this is the best subcompact you can buy on the used market. I'll talk to you guys soon.